Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 Next Gen Build video. And today I have a special Dwayne Wade build for you guys. And I normally don't create a 6'4 build, but hey man, I had to create a 6'4 build for Dwayne Wade. And this build will be able to finish. You get contact dunks, you will be able to go in the post with this build. You will be able to shoot in that mid-range, okay? I'm talking about high mid-range shooting. Hall of Fame mid and magician for this build so you will be able to do those moves in the mid range like Dwayne Wade but you still will be able to shoot some threes so don't worry about that you can make plays with this build and you will be able to play defense so make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece we are going to shoot and grab this shoot hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice let's get it man but before I go any further you already know what time it is it's like button time so go down there hit that like button and get this video to 50 likes this build right here like I said is six foot four I don't normally go 6'4", but hey, man, it is what it is. 205 on the way, 7'1", wingspan, built body shape as if you got because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go. And as you guys can see, we are starting with the finishing. Dwayne Wade was a, a good finisher, man. Don't get it twisted. He would dunk on you in his prime, man. So for the close shot, we're going to get that up to a 67. We didn't want to change the name of the build, so we left it at a 67. And we wanted to spread things out, you know what I'm saying? We want this build to be very versatile, and I like the fact that this build can do everything. For the driver layup, we're going to get that up to an 81. Most people probably saying, do it on high. Why you didn't just leave it at an 80? Well, as you can see, we go from 9 badges to 10 when we take it up plus 1. So that plus 1 will allow us to get that extra badge. For the driver dump, we're going to get that up to an 87. And that will allow us to have uh, limitless takeoff on goal. And the reason I did 87 is because at 84, yes, you get the contact dunks. 85, you get silver poster riser. 86, you get limited takeoff on goal. 87, you get an extra badge. And that's what we want. For the standard dunk, take it to at least a 40. You can go higher if you want to. But it's a lot of things that I, I, I could do on this build um, if I didn't try to get D-Wade in the shades up. So when you're trying to create a certain player just like Kobe, you need some post scoring. Um, um, uh, D-Wade, you need post scoring. So that's why I did what I did on this build. For the post control, we're going to get that up to a 78. And as you guys can see, we do get 21 of them things, man. I'm talking about, and I would use limited takeoff, slithery, posterize, the fast twitch, fearless, rise up, um, and probably throw in drop step or something like that, man, just for the hell of it. But those are the bads I would use. Make sure you mix and match your bads how you want to as your build as your grind your time. And once you are able to core tier three bads, you'll get a plus six or plus seven. So you'll go from 21 to 27 or 28, depending on which one you want to go with. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. d Wade was known for his mid-range shot. So, of course, we want to get that mid-range shot up to 88. That's the only way you can get the name that I have, with, have which is the mid-range specialist. And for the three-point shot, we're going to get that up as high as we can, which is a 79. A 80 will change the name of the bill. For the free throw, we're going to get it up to an 82. For some reason, I had to keep the free throw high on this bill. Um, 2K kept taking Dwayne Wade's name away, so that's why I took the free throw to an 82. And as you can see, we do get 23 of them things. So with this particular bill, of course, we'll use Mini Magician. I haven't tested the badge out yet to see how it really works. Uh, but, you know, it's a badge you can use. It, it tell you what it's for. Boost the effectiveness of pull-ups, spin shots, and fadeaways from the mid-range area. And that's what you want to do with this build, given the fact that you have that 88 mid-range shot. I would also use Claymore, um, Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot, Amped. Um, and probably throw in blinders if I have enough badge. But um, those are some of the badges I would use. We get 23. Once you're able to core a badge, you'll get some plus pluses on the, um, the shooting. And that's really, really good. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page where everybody need mama can see this video. And I need everybody need mama to see the video. So do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. For the speed of ball, we're going to get that up to an 80. All right. Ball handle, we're going to get that up to an 80. I know a lot of people won't go quick first step. That's fine, I understand, but if you do want it, man, you're going to have to make some sacrifices for this build. Now, if I didn't have to create the build like Dwayne Wade, I could get you guys go a quick first step, okay? So I really can make this build better, which I will create it um, another time, you know what I'm saying? Give it a little time, let this build marinate a little bit, you know, then create another one. For the pass accuracy, we're going to get that to a 74, and as you can see, we do get 19 of them things, man, you know what I'm talking about? And um, we would use... Dwayne Wade was a, a, a underrated pass. He can pass now. Don't get it twisted. So we'll use Nita Threader, Anchor Breaker, uh, throw in a quick first step. 
Hyperdrive, Clamp Breaker, and Handle for Days. Those are the badges that I would use for this particular build. You can mix and match the badges how you want to as your build, as your grind, as your time. So please use these badges to go out there and test them out, man. Test these badges out. It's all about testing. That's just like you have a race car, okay? You're not just going to pull up on race day and say, let's race, okay? You're going to have to test the car. Test, test, test. Get the car where you want it to be. Get the car with, to uh, doing what you want to do, and then you go out there and race. It's the same thing with these builds. Test these bags out, see what work. Whatever work, keep doing that. And if it don't work, guess what? You got to change it. It's just that simple. It's all about adjusting. Now, let's get into the defense and the rebounding badge. Now, D-Way was a, a really good defender, man. He was a, a, a great shot blocker to be 6'4 and to be at the guard position. You know what I'm saying? Like, blocking shots was his thing, man. You, you try to go up on him, you're going to block the shot. So for the interior defense, we're going to get that to a 45. It's going to go up anyway, but I just took it up right now. For the perimeter defense, we're going to get that to an 86. And that will allow us to get silver clamps. As you guys can see, silver clamps is very important to have when you're on the perimeter to slow people down. For the steel, we're going to get that up to an 85. That's very important to have intercept on silver and glove on silver. I hate the fact that they, they are tier 3, which, um, you know, they should have put those bads a little bit lower. But they're just saying that, I know you need these badges to do it all, house. So I'm going to put them as high as I can get them so you can work for them badges, man. That's really what it is, man. For the block, we're going to get that block up to a 70. And as you guys can see, we do get chase down artists on silver. So you will be able to block some shots like I was saying. D-Wade was a great shot blocker, man. Don't get it twisted. For the rebound, we're going to take the offensive rebound to a 58. And the defensive rebounding is a 78, okay? Uh, not bad, man. We do get 23 total defense and rebounding badges on this build which i think is good and i will go with clamps intercept the glove that's 18 right there okay i will go with chase down artists that's 20 uh throw in um pogo that's 21 with throw in box that'll be 23 throw in rebound chase that'll be 24 we got 23 once we're able to call tier three badge we'll get that and then we will have some extra badges so we're looking at like 29 badges when it's all said and done but look at the combination though 21 23 19 and 23 not bad at all let's get to the physical the speed i took that up to an 80 i took the acceleration to an 85 the strength i took that up to a 40 not super high the vert is a 75 of course and the rest is on stamina now let's go ahead and get it to these takeovers so we have finishing shot creating sharp shooting and big lock man of course we want to use the ankle breaking shot for d wade and we'll just throw something else in, man. It is what it is on that. I'm just choosing something for the video. Anyway, are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. We we go. We we go. Now, we do have shades of Deontay Murray, Dwayne Wade, and Anthony Edwards. And the build name is a mid-range specialist. That's the build. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Cheers!